So at this point, you might think that we're some kind of pro Atkins freaks, but it's not the case. It's not the case at all. In fact, we've got some questions about the Atkins diet. And so we've come over to our friend Paul and Helen's. Oh, and that must be Rose. No, I've got. So this meal, as opposed to the other ones we saw in the earlier versions of the video, right, are very, very low in fat. Yeah, I've been a vegan for 10 years since my first uh, month of medical school. So how long have you been on the Atkins diet? Me, I've never ever been on the Atkins diet because I'm a vegetarian. It would be very difficult, perhaps not impossible, very difficult to be a vegetarian on the Atkins diet. So Helen, yeah, I would yeah. tell me, how long have you been on the Atkins diet? Oh, I've never been on the Atkins <laughs> diet. Never? No, I'm even joking. We, you know, I heard that orange juice sales have dropped. Um, orange juice is kind of in trouble because the sales have dropped all because of the Atkins diet. No, I, I think the Atkins diet is a bad idea. Any diet that says that orange juice is bad or fruits are bad just seems kind of crazy. So that's objection number one. Let's eat tomatoes. Mm. The tomato bisque has not only has tomatoes in it, but also rice mm -hmm. and uh, coconut milk. I, I imagine all of those would be no-nos so. on the Atkins diet because of uh, you know sugar and carbs. It's delicious, mm. however. Just mm. maybe just a little pinch of it. Bart. That's yeah. all right. This is nutritional yeast gravy. Gravy? I, mean, I thought I didn't think vegans could eat gravy. Well, it's say, vegan um, gravy. How long have you been on the Atkins diet? Oh, fuck the Atkins diet. Diet. <laughs> I didn't do diets. What I do is I keep altering pant sizes. Well, I don't know how pretty it is. <laughs> so they say if you want to stay fat, the best way to do it is follow a fad diet. I think it's unhealthy for the heart. I think it causes cancer, the Atkins diet. It'll contribute to strokes, kidney disease. Yeah, Rosie is against, Rosie's against the Atkins diet. All right, give us a shout out, Rosie. She wags her tail when she agrees. Rosie, Rosie you're. Girl. I'm seeing her wag her tail. Rosie, you're against the Atkins diet, right? Wag. Mm -hmm. Good girl. She's on the wagon against. Yeah. The Atkins diet. Yeah. So why don't you get on the wagon? Are you? Now a vegetable. Diet? I've got to prepare Rosie for the bad news. You know, <laughs> with the Atkins has come all the marketing, of course, and um, you'll now find that Applebee's has a a new Adkins friendly menu and it's just opened the doors for the Adkins aisle at your grocery store and we found out that the pork rinds market is soared and isn't the pork rind the favorite snack food of George Bush I believe it is but anyway so poor Rosie please don't eat the pork rinds because every time you eat a pork rind think of Rosie it should also be noted that the Atkins diet is a very expensive an elitist proposition. I mean, the whole world couldn't go on the Atkins diet. We couldn't afford it. In Afri in all the different countries of Africa and Asia, the, yeah. the diets are based around one very starchy carbohydrate. So in China, it's rice. And in Uganda, it's this matoki, which is like a kind of a squash banana kind of thing. Yeah. And in Uganda, it's ugali, which is like a, uh, I think it's a cornmeal. Those places don't have problems with obesity at all, no, 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 except when they start adopting a Western diet. So how did the Atkins diet, after decades of, of being around, why is it that the Atkins diet is all of a sudden so popular? We don't know, but we didn't want to contribute to it, so don't say you weren't warned.